Hello there, my friends, and welcome back to another Ultimate Skyrim development update. Thank you for joining me here today. As always, I'd like to say hello to my newest patrons. Thank you all very much for your contributions and your support, without which Ultimate Skyrim would not exist. Over the past two weeks, I had a little less time than usual for development due to a trip to Chicago with my fiance for a friend's wedding. For whatever it's worth, the ceremony was wonderful and we had a very nice time. Also, a shameless plug for my fiance's side business, where she provides consulting for entrepreneurs, influencers, and independent content producers. For the time I did have to develop, I focused primarily on placeable objects and furnitures, which have a very important role in 4.0 because of the new emphasis on homesteading and the much greater need for safe storage. If you recall my last video, one of my goals was to unify the placement mechanics for furnitures and other placeable objects. My original approach was to expand the campfire placement system to all placeable objects, which became possible thanks to some help I received from David J. Cobb, the very talented author of Cobb Positioner. However, I realized after some experimenting that the campfire placement imposed a very significant limitation on containers, such as barrels and chests. Specifically, any container using the campfire placement would share contents with other containers of the same type. For example, if you crafted two barrels and placed items in one, those items would also show up in the other. This did not match the experience I intended, so instead of using the campfire placement for furniture and other static objects, I instead opted to use the proprietary placement from Hearthfire Extended in conjunction with Cobb Positioner. This system is arguably smoother and more immediate since placed objects simply spawn in front of the player, and while this system does not currently allow players to retrieve objects once they've been placed, I believe that functionality is possible within this system, and I will continue working to re-add that feature as the crafting overhaul progresses. In addition to the work on object placement, I also made it possible for all wooden objects to be used as firewood and kindling, I overhauled the ingredient requirements for many furniture recipes to make them more interesting and to better reflect the resulting object. I expanded breakdown recipes for furnitures so that many furnitures can be broken down at both a furniture workbench or on the spot, also the smelter in some cases. I added missing perk requirements to a great many recipes, including furnitures, armors, and weapons. And finally, I protected many new items from being broken down by accident using the PRU FEI condition system. For those of you who are not aware of this system, it is a brilliant feature by a modder named Matthew Carlson that prevents equipped and favorited items from appearing in breakdown menus so you don't break them down by accident. That about wraps up the work I managed to complete in the last two weeks. My goals for the next two weeks are to finish evaluating all the crafting recipes and to begin building and distributing the new recipes and blueprints. These goals carry over from my last video, which I do apologize for, but the next two weeks should be thankfully free from any trips or interruptions, so I believe that I can make significant headway on these goals. Thank you all, as always, for your support. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to join me on Monday for the weekly Twitch Q&A stream at 10 a.m. PST, or you can comment below and I will do my best to reply ASAP. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in two weeks with another development update.